Hey everyone, this is a question that I was asked to make a video for. It's question 4a from the 1991 Mathematics Extension 1 exam. And the question says, use mathematical induction to prove that for all positive integers n, 1 plus 2 plus 4, all the way up to 2 to the n minus 1, equals 2 to the power n minus 1. Okay, so the question says for all positive integers, that means n greater than or equal to 1. Remember, that's not including 0 because 0 is neither positive or negative. So we want to prove it for all n greater than or equal to 1. That means n equals 1 is our base case. So we have to check n equals 1. The left-hand side will become 2 to the power 1 minus 1, which is just 2 to the 0, which is 1. And the right-hand side is going to be 2 to the power 1 minus 1, which is... 2 minus 1, which is 1. Okay, so that's equal to the left-hand side. So right-hand side equals left-hand side. So therefore, our base case is true. True for n equals 1. So that's the base case done. Now we need to make our inductive hypothesis. So our inductive hypothesis is to assume that it's true for n equals k. So we're going to say assume n equals k is true. Now, when we make an inductive hypothesis, it's always a very good idea to actually write down what the hypothesis is. So yes, okay, we've assumed that it's true for n equals k, but what does that actually mean? That means we're assuming the following. 1 plus 2 plus 4, all the way up to and including 2 to the power k minus 1, is equal to 2 to the k minus 1. Okay, now here I should also say that when I'm talking about k, k is actually something that's greater than or equal to 1. Obviously, k has to be part of the uh, allowable or yeah allowable values of n. Okay, so k has to be greater than or equal to 1. So we assume this. And now we want to prove that n equals k is, oh sorry, n equals k plus 1 is true. So now we're required to prove that n equals k plus 1 is true. Okay, again, let's write out what that actually means. That means that I'm trying to prove 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus all the way up to 2 to the power k plus 1. So I'm subbing any n equals to k plus 1 in. Minus that 1 equals 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1. All right, let's just start with the left-hand side. The left-hand side of what I'm trying to prove is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus dot 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 plus the next term would be or the last term would be 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1 but there's a term that comes before that that would just be 2 to the k minus 1 okay now why have I chosen to write that term in well we can see that all the terms except for the very last one are exactly what constitute our hypothesis, our inductive hypothesis. Okay, so let me call that star. So I can go ahead and substitute everything in the brackets for 2 to the k minus 1, and that's by our inductive hypothesis. So therefore, the left-hand side will be equal to 2 to the k minus 1. Let's put that in blue brackets again, just so we know what's going on. And then I have 2 to the power k plus 1 minus 1, which is just 2 to the k. Okay, so here I have 2 to the k minus 1 plus 2 to the k. But what am I trying to get? I'm trying to get this 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1. Now, I can see that the minus 1 is there, and I've got a minus 1 here, so that's good. All I have to work, at, all I have to work with now is this 2 to the k plus 2 to the k. Now, let's just think about this on the side. If this was x minus 1 plus x, this is easily... 2x minus 1. I think we can all do that at this level. Okay, so if we just treat 2 to the k here as, as some variable term like x, then this would become 2 times 2 to the k minus 1. And of course, 2 is really just 2 to the 1. And since these two terms here have the same base, I can use my exponent or my index laws and just add the indices or add the exponents, I should say. So this is 2 to the k plus 1 
minus 1, which is equal to the left-hand side. And so therefore, n equals k plus 1 is true if our inductive hypothesis is true, if n equals k is true. Okay, and so therefore, this whole statement is true by mathematical induction. So we can write, therefore, 1 plus 2 plus 4 all the way up to 2 to the n minus 1 equals 2 to the n minus 1 is true by mathematical induction. Okay, and that's the end of the question. Now, if you have a question, that, a specific question that you'd like me to do, just put it in the comments and I'll try to get around to it when I've got some time. Thanks for watching.